Hello, Bearcats. Hope everybody's doing well today. We've got another reflection on our readings for Mass, and as usual, this comes from the Gospel of the Day. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was a kid, my friends and I used to joke sometimes about people who told us to cheer up or lighten up or be happy, how funny it was that people thought they could just command us to be happy. And so we would say things like, oh, be happy or else, you know, sort of. Understanding, like, just telling someone to cheer up isn't exactly the most helpful comment all the time. But it's interesting because despite the fact that we would joke about that, in today's gospel, Jesus seems to do something similar. He says, do not let your hearts be troubled. It's almost like my friends, something my friends and I would have joked about. Be happy or else. Do not let your hearts be troubled or else. Sort of a, how can Jesus command us to, to not be troubled? I mean... I feel troubled all the time. There's all this stuff going on in our society and we're still navigating the pandemic and we're not at school and we want to go outside and all sorts of things. It can be a very troubling time. So what do we do when Jesus tells us not to feel troubled? Well, I think what we need to remember is that Jesus is reminding us that God is more powerful than anything that we face. No evil ultimately prevails over God. God always conquers evil. And the cross is proof of that when Jesus conquered sin and death once and for all. Yes, there are going to be times when our hearts will be troubled because life on earth is not heaven and we've got to slowly learn to trust Jesus over the course of our lives. That's the journey of the Christian. Through the help of the church, through receiving Jesus every Sunday in the Holy Eucharist, through receiving his mercy and forgiveness in the sacrament of confession, we slowly learn to trust that Jesus has conquered sin and death, and he is by our side, and nothing can prevail over him. One of the prayers I like to pray that helps me remember this, because I forget it all the time, is called the serenity prayer. And with that in mind, I'd like to pray that with y'all now, as a way of finishing and concluding this reflection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.